Hey, what's up everyone? Hey, listen, I want to show you guys how to use the Metro 2 dispute letters. So we're going to head over to the dispute center. Now I'm going to select some derogatory accounts. Let me find some. Okay. I see some right here. Again, I'm going to select, these are charge offs. I'm going to select some dispute reasons. For Metro 2, you don't need to select dispute reasons because we're not doing any factual disputing. You can dispute both positive and negative accounts. So I'm gonna show you guys selected all of the negative accounts that are reporting. Now let me select some inquiries. I'm gonna select all. And again, when you're using the Metro 2 dispute letters, you do not have to use any dispute reasons. All right, so now that I have all of the inquiries that I selected and the accounts that I wanna dispute, there's no public records and we're not disputing any data from issues. I'm going to go to dispute letters and I'm going not going to go to credit bureau tab. I'm going to go to Metro 2 dispute tab. Now, we have a dispute guide for you guys to follow. And since I have it up, I'm going to break down this dispute guide. All right. So this means this is the first letter. The attack number means that this is the first number. The attack name means you're going to use that Metro 2 attack. So I'll explain these attacks in a moment. And mail type tells you the way in which you're going to mail the letter, make the recipient the sender. Okay. So that means you're going to make Experian or TransUnion or Equifax the recipient as well as the sender. And it's just a checkbox that you check when you're mailing. So I'll show you guys that towards the end of this video. All right. The letter, are we going to send it in color or not? Yes. Single sided or double sided? We're sending this first letter single sided. Okay. And then the attack frequency. This is the first day. The second letter is the 36th day. So every 35 days, we're going to mail out the next dispute round for your Metro 2 letters, okay? Now, these attacks, these are all Metro 2 attacks. However, the attacks are structured differently. So the bulldozer attack attacks all items on your credit report, all negative items. So any items that you select in your filter, that's what's going to be populated inside of your dispute letter. Now, the crane method is similar to the bulldozer attack, except it's going to limit the dispute letter to seven accounts. All right. And your inquiries, if you have 20 inquiries, it's only going to put 10 inquiries in that dispute letter. All right. Now, scissor lift attack. This one is very convenient because it disputes your personal information on one dispute letter for each bureau. It disputes all the inquiries that you selected in one letter for each bureau. And then it disputes all your derogatory accounts in separate letters for each bureau. So a separate letter for your personal information to Experian, TransUnion, Equifax. Separate letters for your inquiries for, to Experian, Equifax, TransUnion. And then the same for derogatory items that you selected. Wheelbarrow, similar to the scissor lift, but again, it just did, limits the amount of disputes and inquiries in. Now forklift, now this letter right here is going to generate a dispute letter per item. Okay, so if you have 36 inquiries, it's gonna generate 36 dispute letters for each item. So be mindful of that. So this one is typically not used, but just so you guys know. So be careful when using this one, but that's convenient in its own right. So that's how you do that. Now let me show you guys how to generate your dispute letters. It's really simple. Once you select your filter, you're going to go to, let me do a scissor lift attack. Click create letter. And that was generated. Now what you want to do is you want to go to your dispute center and notice how it has three letters for each bureau. So three for experience in the Equifax, three for two for experience. Maybe there's no inquiries. Okay. So these are all the accounts. Let's see the, this is the personal information and it looks like there's no inquiries for that one. Okay. Now let's look at scissor lift. So this is personal information. These are all the inquiries and these are the inquiries in the accounts. No, these are all the accounts. Sorry. Okay. So, once that's generated, you know that you guys can download the dispute letters. You can edit them if you wanted to, right? Click edit here, edit them, and you can send them certified mail from the software. Now, like I mentioned before, whenever you're mailing out these letters, the first round you're gonna mail these out 
make the recipient the sender. That means that when Lob creates these letter certified mail, they're going to make Equifax the recipient as well as the sender. All right. So that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and watch this as many times as needed. And I wish you guys the best with your dispute process. And I wish you guys get the best scores that you're looking for. All right.